technology works. Yay. So good afternoon, and I'd like to say hi to all of our friends at our two satellite locations today joining in. So yay, friends, satellite locations. So I wanted to begin by asking each of you to recall a moment where you saw something new for the very first time. So drop that experience. Think about how it made you feel. Was there a mental sensation? Was there a physical sensation? Did seeing this new thing inspire you in any way? Did you take action as a result? Technology works, yeah. So for me, it's this moment of wonderment that really drives me and inspires me. It's about seeing the extraordinary and the seemingly ordinary. This morning, we actually had a, a question from the audience from, from a gentleman named Boris, and he said, when you hit Control-Alt-Delete, is it about something entirely new, or is it about working with what you already have? And for me, it's both, but I think it's about the way that we choose to look at things. So I had just mentioned about looking at something that's ordinary and seeing it as extraordinary. And I think that's one way to answer your question. So over the past five years, I've been working with a technology called augmented reality and mixed reality. Is anybody in the audience familiar with augmented reality? All right, smart group. And when I saw augmented reality for the first time, I was in absolute wonder. I was just in awe. And in fact, I'm still really mesmerized by the technology today. So that tells me that I'm in a pretty good place. And I like to think of augmented reality as a tool for enabling wonder, of allowing us to hit control, delete, and see things in a new light, in a new way. Yes. <laughs> virtual reality. We can think of augmented reality in regards to virtual reality. In virtual reality, we're completely closed off from our physical environment, immersed in a computer-generated world. In augmented reality, we are in our physical environment, in our physical surroundings. However, we now have a layering of data, and that can take the form of images, video, audio, text, animations, and that's layered atop our physical surroundings. So in the slide you see here, we're holding up a smartphone and looking at an object, an ordinary object, an image. And the smartphone is equipped with a camera that in real time will send that live feed to the smartphone and allow us to hold that up as a looking device, as a looking device into another world, and see this data then layered atop. So we see a virtual butterfly appear in our ordinary setting. So I like to think of augmented reality, again, as a window into another world. I was recently invited to exhibit my work at the Ontario Science Centre. And this is a mixed reality piece. Um, and by mixed reality, I mean the digital and the and physical tactile objects coming together, coexisting to create an interactive environment. And this piece was called The Amazing Cinemagician. And it's here today, so I hope you had a chance to, I mean, you entered through it, but I'd like you to go back and play with some of the cards and the interactive elements. And this exhibition was in homage to the great French filmmaker, Georges Méliès. Now, what I love about Georges Méliès is that before he was a filmmaker, he was actually a magician. So he brought a lot of his tricks from the stage to cinema, thereby making it really fantastical and wondrous and of course, magical. I've got some documentation here from the Science Center exhibition. And I should also note that this exhibition was created in production with the Augmented Reality Lab at York University. And what's fantastic about our lab is that we are in the Department of Film and Faculty of Fine Arts. So to walk you through the experience, the viewer will select from a deck of cards of seemingly ordinary playing cards. And as they choose their, car their card and place it down, their card will then be read back to them by the amazing cinemagician. And it will appear projected onto fog. Following that will be a short film clip by Georges Méliès. And for me, I love when the digital and the analog come together. So to reveal the trick, the magic trick behind this, in each one of those seemingly ordinary playing cards is an RFID tag a radio frequency identification tag. And when that card is placed down on the podium, it then triggers each one of these video clips and cards to appear. Now, 
while this was on display at the Science Center, I'd like to, I, I would love to go visit and just stand back unannounced and just watch people interact with it. And I noticed some interesting things. At first, people were drawn in. They were delighted by the fog. And they came in and they started exploring the cards. So there was a curiosity. There was a moment of, wait, how did you know my card? After that, that was followed by an exploration and an inquiry into, into how the technology worked. Now, I have to say I was initially taken aback because people seemed like they were trying to break the exhibit. <laughs> and I initially thought, no, that's not how it works. That's not what you're supposed to do. But I, I took a deep breath and I stood back and I said, all right, let's just see what happens. And I heard a child say to his mom, I'm going to fool it. I'm going to trick it. And what was happening is that people would take the cards and they would start layering them on top of one another. They'd start banging them together. They would start quickly moving them around, tugging them on them, and doing all sorts of interesting things because they were trying to trick the trick. They were trying to get at the magic of the technology. So these steps then were an initial delight, a curiosity, an inquiry, and then action. And I thought about how this mirrored my own process in working with augmented reality. For when I first came across it, there was a delight, there was a curiosity, and then an inquiry, and an investigation, an action. And for me, like the people at the Science Center, the last step, action, involved breaking the technology. <laughs> and by that I mean, when I started working with augmented reality, I began by breaking demos because I wanted to get at wrap my head around and get at the heart of how the technology worked so I could then put it back together, understand the constraints, and then try and push it in new innovative ways. And when I think of control alt delete I think of when technology fails or doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And it's that point when we actually see our environment anew. Then I also think about how we purposely break technology in order to understand, in order to learn. So my process involves prototyping and tinkering and playing and welcoming accidents, breaking things, and that's how I explore, understand, and learn. I can only imagine what it was like to see cinema when it was first new. Georges Melier is said to have exclaimed, what a great trick, that's for me. And I felt the same way about augmented reality. Now, to keep in mind that these first films were about things that we would probably today find really mundane, like a train entering a station, or workers leaving a factory, and people paid money for this. So the content was actually secondary. What was primary was a fascination at the technology, a wonderment at the technology. Content, narrative, storytelling, that all came later. And so for me, I like to think of augmented reality as cinema when it was first new, where right now there's this fascination and a real interest in the technology. but we're still in the midst of creating compelling content. And so as this technology emerges and moves forward, it's really important for designers, artists, to become involved alongside technologists to tell compelling stories and create really compelling content. Okay, how many of you remember a game called King's Quest? Yes. All right. <laughs> that was one of my favorite games too. And another one of my favorite games from my childhood was Mix up Mother Goose, okay? Now, I remember playing this game. We had just got our IBM PS2, and our IBM PS2 replaced our VIC-20. And our VIC-20, we only had text-based games. The IBM PS2 had a mouse. It had a cursor, so you could navigate these amazing graphical worlds. And I remember being in just awe of these jaw-dropping graphics, which perhaps now are not so awe-inspiring. But I still have a nostalgia for them nonetheless. And so I was just in complete wonder of the places I could go and the stories I could explore just alongside the technology. And the key point here is that the technology for me was equally as entrancing as the storyline was. And so this is something to keep in mind as we move forward, as augmented reality emerges as a new technology, that we don't abandon wonderment but that we continue to inspire wonderment and to develop wonderment alongside the technology, alongside compelling content. So I'd like to leave you with a final thought. When we hit Control-Delete, 
It's a command used to terminate an unresponsive application, program, or environment. And I'd like to take that term unresponsive and flip it to responsive. So a call to action to all the designers and technologists in the room and at our satellite locations to hit control delete, be responsive, actively seek and inspire wonderment to see the world afresh. Thank you. Thank you.